What's going on guys, Digidestin here, back again with another pickup video for you. Uh, this one, pretty minimal, uh, just because we're preparing for the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. As you can tell from these boxes here, um, we're going to be vending with our buddy Castlemania Games. Uh, so he was kind enough to, to offer a spot on his table, and uh, we, we gladly took it. Um, but super excited about that. Never been before, so I'm really looking forward to, to going to see what purge is all about um, but like I mentioned we haven't had a lot of time to go hunting we haven't had a lot of time to go thrifting or, or retail stores or pick up anything off the of Craigslist just because we're preparing for the convention uh, as well as trying to save money to to spend there as for pickups most of the stuff is pretty tame uh, but I think they're pretty cool it's pretty cool stuff to add to my collection first thing I want to show you is something we found at Value Village a thrift store uh, just a couple plushies so we have uh, a couple Pikmin we have the white Pikmin and the purple Pikmin, super cute. We got this back for two bucks, uh, and these ones are actually from Japan. So these ones are not from the World Nintendo line that's being released by Jack Pacific. Uh, this one's directly from Japan, and these were uh, dated to about 2004. The next thing from Valley Village is a little bit older. It's dated back to like, uh, I don't know, 1999, 2000. We have a brand new Game Boy Color, Game Boy Pocket, uh, carrying case. Uh, so this is the gold edition with a uh, Ho-Oh on the front. It's brand new. It's still got the tag on it. We got this for three bucks. Excellent shape. I mean the the card is is pretty bent up and and you know worn out, but otherwise the case itself is in fantastic shape. Never been used. Uh, what's cool is I never knew this. Uh, they even show the case holding Pokemon cards so uh, this thing has quite the utilitarian aspect to it all right the next couple things were uh, a gift from my fiance uh, it was our anniversary not too long ago and uh, she happened to uh, we said we wouldn't get each other gifts but I got her something uh, I'm, I'm that person but she got me something as well because she felt bad and uh, it's from think geek so ThinkGeek has a bunch of great stuff. They're a retailer with, uh, a, as you can imagine, more geeky things. They have Star Wars stuff, pop culture stuff, video game stuff. Uh, and a lot of the stuff uh, can be found at GameStop as well. But sometimes they have things that you can only find on their online store. The first thing is a pillow of sorts. Um, a pretty cool one, actually. It is a Famicom controller pillow. And it's not scaled, so it's a little bit longer than normal. Uh, but this is a nice little pillow that you can use for your neck. Um, maybe if you're in bed or something and you're you're on your phone or you're playing your 3DS. Uh, just prop this behind your head and uh, you're set to go. You're ready to game uh, on top of a gaming controller. Alright, and the next thing from ThinkGeek is this thing right here. It's a little piranha plant. Look at that. So cute. But the cool thing is, it's a puppet. Look at that. That's so fun. So fun. Uh, this is made by Hashtag Collectibles. Uh, and I do have uh, three other puppets made by them. I have a Mario one, a Luigi one, and a Peach one. And I believe that they're going to be making a Bowser one uh, pretty soon. So I'll be on the lookout for that. But this one's super fun. I love it. Alright, the next pickup is from my local game store, Another Castle Video Games. Great store. Uh, I wanted to trade in some games recently, actually some systems, some extra systems, and uh, I found something that caught my eye. And it's actually not for me, it's actually for a buddy of mine, he's been looking for one. Um, but you don't see this too often, so I decided to grab it for him. It is an Atari Lynx. And what's cool about this is it came with the carrying case. Uh, and I actually didn't know this until like a few seconds ago actually. Uh, it came with this too, this is like a, a cord of some sorts. Um, but it's an official Atari cord. I have no idea what it does, because I never owned a Lynx. Um, yeah, it says Atari right here. I don't know if you can see that. But that does say Atari. But yeah, I'm, I'm not quite familiar with the Lynx. I know that he's been looking for one. Uh, it's just a handheld made by Atari. It's huge. It's almost reminiscent of a Game Gear. Uh, and this one's in fantastic shape. I've had one before, but I ended up trading it off uh, for something else. But this one's in way better condition than the one I found uh, at the thrift store. And what's cool about the Lynx is when you pop in a game, uh, for example, there's you can play two players, 
um, sometimes with these two buttons, it's kind of like a wonder swan. Uh, but because of the way this is laid out with the A and B buttons here and here, uh, you can either play it left-handed, like so, or you can play it right-handed, like that as well. So super cool. They even have a flip button. So this was pretty ahead of its time. Uh, it's in full color. The speakers are crazy loud. Uh, it's like a step up from the, the Game Gear. So uh, super cool system. Don't have much experience with it, but I did pick it up for a buddy of mine. So um, I don't really have to worry about it unless I end up collecting Atari Lynx you know, later on down the line. And the last pickup I have for this video is actually from Facebook. I'm a part of a bunch of trade and sale groups on Facebook for retro games. Uh, and I finally found a game that I've been looking for uh, for a bit of time now. Uh, it's the last game I needed for this collection. The game is Dot Hack GU Volume 3 Redemption. That is a mouthful, huh? It's a fantastic JRPG with a great storyline. Um, you're based on like an internet server slash database. It's kind of like Sword Art Online style uh, if you're into anime, if you know that reference. Um, but it is a, a real-time uh, action RPG. Uh, so you're not taking turns. It's not turn-based. Super fun. Um, apparently, I've never played this one. I've never played the D GU series. I've only played the first four. And uh, I've been meaning to dig into this one. Uh these three, the, the dot .hack GUs, the, there's only three of them, uh, they're a little bit harder to come by. This game specifically, uh, I've had a lot of trouble finding for a good price. Um, but the guy that was selling it actually had it priced uh, a lot lower than what I normally see it for. Uh, for example, at, at my local game store, I saw it go for maybe $30 or $40 more than I actually got it for. Uh, so not bad pick not a bad pickup here uh, super excited to have it now I have all the games in the uh, dot hack series um, with the exception of the new one that's coming out so Ban Bandai Namco is releasing dot hack GU uh, the first three remastered as well as a fourth one so there's finally gonna be a fourth installment in this series uh, which I'm hoping to pick up once that comes out those were all my pickups for this week. Not a whole lot, which is great because the other weeks have been fantastic. Uh, it's not said enough in this hobby that you don't always find things when you go looking for games. Uh, you can go to, you know, 10 thrift stores and come out with nothing. Uh, you can check a bunch of listings on OfferUp and Craigslist and LetGo, Mercari, um, and any other classified site and nothing turns up. So... You know, I, I find myself extremely lucky that I'm able to find things uh, on a weekly basis to add to my collection and make this hobby a little bit more interesting to me for me. Um, but like I mentioned, you don't always find things, and that's something you should keep in mind, especially if you're trying to get into the hobby of game collecting or game hunting or thrifting or anything else along those lines. If you did like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please check out my other videos. I've got a bunch of other pickup videos. I've got some gameplay, streams, tips and tricks, and all that fun stuff. And with that being said, we'll see you guys on the next one.